ubiquitous, and the rims break away or try to protect the backboard. You know, but there are dunks, there are moments, sort of like events in life. You recall exactly where you were when something happened. For an older generation, they know exactly where they were the moment man walked on the moon or Elvis died. For the kids today, they might know where they were if they ever get retweeted by LeBron or something. January 25th, 1988, in old Fitzgerald Fieldhouse, Pittsburgh taking on Providence. Jerome Lane sent one in for the ages, and Bill Raftery delivered a legendary call. Video was just Demetrius having fun, uh, talking about Pitt being up, up and coming in the Big East. And getting all the boards like he is insane is a board crashing brother, Jerome Lane. But once we start rocking, we shall not see until we attain the title of the Beast of the East. I think that it made a true, a true impact on where we were viewed going into the 87-88 season. Well, at the time when we got there, you know, uh, the basketball team was probably the lowest on the total pole. It was either the Steelers or the Pitt football team. We had All-American Charles Smith, Jerome Lane, Demetrius Gore, the point guard Sean Miller. Things were looking up, and we were ready to roll and, and make a national title run. I'm Jerome Lane, the biggest <laughs> quitter in this school. Gets a little tough, I quit. I think Coach Evans was trying to push Jerome to be the best that he could. Good time, bad time, relationship. And he always trying to all of us to be more aggressive. He was on Charles and Jerome a little bit more than everybody else. Man, Charles is great friends. You know, we always compete, you know. Charles Smith had dunked and cracked a rim earlier in the year. But nobody saw Charles do that because it was in practice. <laughs> Big Monday on ESPN from the Big East, Providence at Pittsburgh. A standing room only crowd has turned out the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse as the nationally ranked Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the Providence College Flyers. And a lot of people are asking the question, Bill, does Jerome Lane need to score more for Pittsburgh to be a Final Four team? He was the strongest player I ever played against, and I played against some pretty strong players. He was a man among boys. And a 6'6 junior from Akron, Ohio, number 34, Jerome Lane. Brooks and Key, of course, as Bill mentioned, that we're underway. Let them see right the tap. Whether it was a blizzard or chilly or just ice on the ground, it was a relief for the students to get in the building, and then they just let loose. Fitzgerald was crazy. Fans were ready to go. The first minutes of the game, I think both teams are trying to fill each other out. It was just a, a simple steal or a loose ball. I picked it up. And, you know, on a three-on-one, I think one of the things you learn as a point guard is you look and you choose your, your better finisher. Bird, no trouble. Now they loop it in the right. Nobody's home. Picked off by Miller. All of a sudden, a fast break takes place. And Sean Miller, the choreographer for this team, uh, comes over the timeline. I know if you gave it to him, I was going, you know, dunk it. Lane's on the other wing. Oh! Oh! And Jerome broke the backboard. It literally sounded like someone throwing a brick through a huge glass window. Yeah! Send it in, Jerome! <laughs> Mike finished the call, and I'm sitting here and going, this is incredible. Over the years, uh, guys have used different ways of describing the dunk, and it just made sense to say, send it in, Jerome! Like, later on, Mike said, where'd you come up with that? I had no idea. Oh, man, the crowd went berserk for about a good math. Two, three, four minutes, man. Golly. It was like, couldn't believe it. The, uh, the, the Panther running around with the glass, running around, throwing it everywhere. The game was delayed. I, I don't remember exactly how long, but it seemed like an eternity. 20, 30 minutes. They were live on TV forever. They're going to get the backup backboard into place in Pittsburgh. Now, don't go away. Even though Jerome Lane has thrown a major uh, monkey wrench into the entire scheduling of a major network this evening with that broken backboard. When we started playing again, Jerome got another uh, fast break. And it was like the same angle. He went to go dunk it, and it didn't break. To new email. Get him out of the game. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the 
game ended. Uh, it was a blowout. Um, we won by a large margin. Providence was a little dejected given the final score of the game. And given the turn of events, they knew it would probably be international news. I'm sure there there are pieces of glass all over Pittsburgh, sitting on a bureau or mounted on some trophy. Maybe about weeks, two weeks later, I've seen people having rings and necklaces of the glass coming to the game. That was crazy. The only thing I ever got was the rim. Is that the years have gone on in traveling through airports? I'll hear people say to me, "Send it in, Jerome." Out of the blue, I should say to Jerome, thanks for making me famous. Now I played the, many years that you played in the NBA. My legacy is just to dunk. Uh, That's 25 years. I'm glad they still know me for something. <laughs> that shattered back.